Welcome to the Blue Cafe, we bring you stories of faith, love, and devotion. Yeah, just kidding, please help us grow by hitting that like button. Now on to the story. I walked in on my son having sex with my brother's wife throwaway, on mobile. I, 44F, walked in on my son, 18M, having sex with my sister-in-law, 34F brother's wife, in a cabin and I think they have been having sex for a while. My brother 37M moved in with us in February with his wife and two children, my husband 44M and I have big house on a farm, my husband is a farmer, and with everyone working from home we thought it would be a good chance to stay together as family and for my nieces to spend time on the farm. I have three children and all of them live with us. The oldest is 18M and the other two are 16F and 13F. On the day my brother arrived I went to buy groceries with my son and he went to the pharmacy to get his gym supplements and I bought the food. I saw condoms in my son's plastic bag when we arrived at the house, two packs with 36 condoms each so 72 in total didn't think anything of it, thought he had gotten a GF and wanted to be safe. Everything was fine everyone got along my sill and son would go on an early run around the farm everything seemed normal until last month when they left on their run but I was up baking and I never saw them make any rounds around the farm which was weird, I asked about it and they said they decided to hit the road, I thought nothing of this everything seemed normal. My sill and son seemed to have a very good bond. Yesterday I was coming from a friend's house early in the morning the sun wasn't up yet and it was little dark but I saw that the cabin we have in the farm was open and the light was on, I thought maybe one of the employees had forgotten to lock up, so I went to close the door and switch off the light as I got closer I heard people having sex and I took a peek and it was my son and Sil having sex, I didn't confront them I was so in shock. I still haven't told anyone what I saw and I don't know what to do. Should I confront them, should I tell my brother, should I tell my husband I'm so confused. I've been doing a lot of thinking and I'm sure they have been having sex for a while from the condoms, my son was always at the house never brought a gf, the morning runs around the farm do they really go on a run or do they have sex, the close relationship. I grew up on a farm and I'm just going to give you the advice no one here has yet hide the guns. Lock them up in a safe if you have one and put the key in a new place. No matter how you handle this it's gonna be bad. I know, this will be bad I'm even thinking of sending my son away before telling my brother. Honestly that's probably for the best. Don't disclose where he's going, either. Yep, tell husband first, then brother when son, and sill plus kids if possible, is out of the house. Come up with a plan with your husband to get them not living in your house anymore, get a therapist for your son. No matter how consensual this was, he's still young and this was a trusted family member who went after him. The months of lies alone will make him question his own integrity and could lead to issues. Lock up the weapons, not saying anything about your brother at all, but desperate people do desperate things. You never know how anyone involved will react. Hope for the best, plan for the worst. Update, I walked in on my son having sex with my brother's wife slash r slash all original post on mobile. I first want to thank everyone for all the advice I got from my original post. I'm sorry for not replying to any comments, I think I only replied to one comment, my head was all over the place. I'll try to keep this update short. As was suggested by many of the comments, I decided to tell my husband first and proceed from there. My husband lost it he first thought it was a joke. We talked about the issue and we decided we should first talk to our son before telling my brother. We confronted our son with what I saw, he already knew what was going on as he saw my reddit post and put two and two together, he didn't deny anything he confessed, he told us him and Sil have been having sex since February last year he was 17 at the time. My son said it started on Sil's birthday party he attended they got drunk and had sex in a bathroom and they have been meeting at hotels ever since and sneaking off at family gatherings. 
After my son's confession my husband just lost it and told my son to leave the house and go end to our condo in town as he didn't want to see him in front of him at this moment. When my son was gone my husband stormed into my brother's room and told my brother everything still was not in the house at that moment. My brother lost it and packed his stuff, took the kids and left. He asked where my son had gone. He said he wanted to teach him a lesson, but we didn't tell him and he eventually left. Sil didn't return. I think my brother might have called her or my son warned her and she is afraid to come back her things are still in the house. In all the screaming and shouting my daughters heard everything and are devastated that their family might be ruined they miss their brother and are afraid my husband won't ever let him in the house again. My husband hates all forms of infidelity to the core and has always drilled this in our two eldest children that they must never cheat on anyone or be in a relationship with someone in a relationship. I know I did nothing wrong in this but how will I ever look my brother in the eye again, he won't answer and calls or text my husband said I should give him time to heal. My son has left the condo because he is afraid of what my brother will do to him and is now hiding at a friend's and he won't tell us which friend. No word on Sil. Info, Sil was the one who initiated sex the first time my son and her slept together, she was the one booking hotel rooms, buying my son dinners and lunches, my son was even receiving an allowance from her. The age of consent is different everywhere, so please call. Authorities in most places still do not take kindly to adults having relationships with adults double their age. It is still considered grooming and they will take action if you notify them, especially since the SIL has children still technically under her care. Having a police report filed against her or an open CPS case will make it easier for the brother to file for custody if he considers a divorce. Do not let the age of your son discourage you from pressing charges. She took advantage of him while he was drunk. It is sexual assault and should be handled as such. Also your son was drinking underage. She has sex with a minor, not sure what state you're in and what the consent laws are like, however having sex with someone that is still considered a minor while under the influence is a crime. It could be considered coercion slash possible rape depending on the circumstances. Edit, oh didn't see the part about sexual assault posted by you slash psychedelic bandanas. Sorry. I'm just reiterating at this point lol. This type of sexual predatory behavior by the Sil could repeat with other teens or even her children. She groomed a 17 year old who was still growing and trying to find himself. No one should offer sex to a teen. The money she offered him could very well be her way of convincing him to continue the affair. Her authority as an elder could have made it harder for your son to reject at first too. Do not let this cycle repeat. Please contact authorities such as the police or CPS. Do not neglect your mental health. Please see a professional so you can completely come to terms with what you witnessed. Talking to someone about this can really relieve stress and give you a new unbiased perspective on what happened and what you should do. Focus on giving your family the help and support they need, but don't neglect yourself. Source, was 17 and groomed by the father of my child. I am just giving tips on what helped me in a somewhat similar situation. We hope that by sharing these stories with interested folks like you, we can help people recognize the signs of a relationship in trouble, and avoid so many of these heartbreaking situations yourselves. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, 